Hi, everybody. I'm Pastor Larry Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Now, today is the day that God is going to allow you to get a divorce. Did I get your attention? We're not talking about husband and wife. We're talking about during the Feast of Tabernacles, when we bring our first fruit offering, when we bless the nation of Israel, God said, I will divorce you from the past and bring you a new beginning. Listen to this, Proverbs 3, verse 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your income. Then your barns will be filled and your life, your vats will overflow with new wine. Your life will overflow. Your barns will be full. Your life will overflow with the anointing of God. We're going to cut the old life loose. Everything the devil's tried to do against you. Today, the Feast of Tabernacles, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so glad you're with us because today God is giving you a new beginning. I'll be right back. We're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. Every time we come in the studio to record or to teach, Melina always says to us, pastors say it like we've never heard it before. And the reason is, is because a lot of this Coming back to our Jewish roots, in the last days, the eyes of the Gentiles will be open and will begin to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But also a lot of you are new to understanding what a Jewish Jesus says, what a Jewish Paul says. And so let me give you the foundation because we are in, we are in a grace period. It's almost over. Now I want you to think about this. Almost everybody knows Malachi chapter three where God says, return unto me and I'll return unto you. And they said, well, how do we return? And God says, in your tithes and in your offerings. Now, let me give you very quickly, because so many of you know this. Let me give you the history of this. Israel has just come out of 70 years of Babylonian captivity. The reason why they went into Babylonian captivity is they stopped keeping Shemitah, which meant rest the land for seven, every seven years, rest the land. And so you had to trust God on the sixth year to bring you in a triple harvest. The sixth year, the seventh year where there was no harvest and then enough to plant for the eighth year, a new beginning. But also they stopped bringing their tithes and they stopped bringing their offerings. Now, one of the great Jewish prophecies is this. In the last days, the eyes of the Gentiles will be open. Rabbi Schneerson, one of the greatest rabbis in the history of the world, he's with, he's with God right now. He said in one of his last speeches, the Messiah is ready to come, except something has to happen first. The eyes of the Gentiles have to be open and they will begin to understand Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and the Feast of Tabernacles. That's where we are right now. And listen what he said. At first, the Jewish people will say, why are you doing this? These are ours. But listen, receive this. If you're watching today, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. If you're watching today, this word is for you. He said, at first, the Jewish people say, why are you doing that? That's ours. But then these Jewish people who begin to understand what God is saying in Malachi, they will become so blessed that it will get the world's attention. So they're in Jerusalem. They've just come out of Babylonian captivity. This is Malachi. Look at the top of your Bible. Most of it, your Bibles will say 
the great assembly, all the sages, all the prophets, they're all gathered together and they're praying, how do we defeat the devil? How do we defeat the enemy? And God says, return unto me and I'll return unto you. Man, that's marvelous. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sithkenu, Jehovah Megadesh will return unto us. How do we do that? by your tithes and your offerings. But you've got to understand these are Jewish people that understand something that most Gentiles don't understand until the last days. The offering is Deuteronomy 16, uh, three times a year, we come before the Lord, Passover, Pentecost, Shavuot, Sukkot, Feast of Tabernacles, which were in that grace period. And listen to what God says. Prove me if I won't open, you come before me and you don't come empty handed. You bring an offering, why? Because this offering opens the windows of heaven. This offering pours out such a blessing. This offering causes God, and only this can happen through this offering, God will stand in front of you, your home, your family, your household, and he'll rebuke the devourer. He'll rebuke Satan that's trying to destroy. Now, I want you to listen to that. Every year we teach this, and it's amazing the miracles that we see, but this is special. This is something really special. You notice that Tiz isn't here, and most of you know that Tiz and Lion, my grandson, they, they, they received really incredible, not no exaggeration, miracles from God from cancer. Well, Tiz still goes through testing, Lion goes through testing, and a few weeks ago they came back and said, it, it looks like the cancer's coming back on Tiz, and of course we're claiming the blessing of God, we're claiming that God will rebuke the devourer, and um, it looked like she had double breast cancer, there's no double breast cancer a few days ago, and they said if the cancer comes back, it's coming back aggressively, in a fury. But you know what, the Bible says, when the enemy comes in, and we read it like this, when the enemy comes in like a flood, God says, I will raise up a standard against it. But if you read it in Hebrew, this is, this, is, this is prophecy for you. When the enemy comes in, comma, like a flood, God will raise up a standard. You can't stop a flood. There's no holding back a flood. God is getting ready to flood you. So they went in, checked his, and they said it's gonna come back aggressive. Number one, no breast cancer. They went in just a couple days ago. She's in her, her hospital room right now praying for you. She's totally cancer free. They found one, a centimeter and a half little growth. We still don't know what the test will show, but the doctor said, I got it all, it's done. Now, this is not a coincidence. You're watching right now because God, oh man, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. God wants to reverse that negative curse, that negative report in the enemy, the devourer attacking your life. When we bring in a first fruit offering during the Feast of Tabernacles, when all of Israel, you know, during the Feast of Tabernacles, during Passover, every Jew around the world would get an offering in but sometimes they would send someone with their offering. During Shavuot, the, the um, Pentecost, every Jew around the world would get their first fruit offering in, but sometimes they would send someone to bring their first fruit offering from. But on the Feast of Tabernacles, everyone would come themselves because this is the most important. This releases seven miracle promises of God. How many places did Jesus shed his blood? Seven different times. So everyone would come themselves. They weren't trusting it to anyone else. They were making sure that God would receive their offering personally. Why? Because God at this time, for you and I, opens the windows of heaven. At this moment, this is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. That's what this scripture is about. God will pour you out such a blessing. Oh man, we just received such a blessing. This is the day God will stand in front of us and the enemy and he will rebuke the devourer for our sake. 
My friend, this is an amazing time. Now, let me, let me share this with, and the announcer are gonna tell you about this, but I wanna share this with you. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare. Maybe you're fighting something. Maybe you're battling something. That's not because you're a bad person. You know, we, we saw cancer defeated in Lion. We saw cancer defeated. Miracle, miracle. Gave Lion a gene that no child his age anywhere in the world in medical history had. Supernatural. So we could say to you, and then Tiz, they saw they had a gene and they came back and said, it's not there. So we saw the miracle, but then the enemy tried to come back. But God raised up a standard again and defeated the enemy again. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. This is why God says in due season, when we for, for 28 years, Tiz and I have been sowing seed in first fruits. For 28 years, Tiz and I and our ministry on your behalf have been giving to the nation of Israel. I will bless those who bless Israel. And what does the Lord say? He says in Galatians 6, he said, in due season, well, three days ago, it was due season. We called in the harvest and God was there. You're watching right now. If you need a miracle, today's your day. If you don't need a miracle, get that seed in the ground, put it in God's bank, and in due season, God will stand in, view, in front of you and the enemy. You know, that seed is a weapon of our warfare. Just like a mezuzah, putting the mezuzah on the doorpost of your house, just like praying under a tallit. I pray all the time, but when Tiz was going in to be operated on three days ago, I put my tallit on. Uh, my daughters were with me. Anna and Katie were with me. We put Tiz under that tallit and we shut the door because when you shut the door, you're not double-minded. The enemy cannot come in and tell you all these negative things. He's not allowed to. It's supernatural. And a double-minded man is in stubble in all his ways. And so we covered ourselves in that tallit. Pastor, do you really think something happens? Yes. When I lift my hands, God inhabits the praises of his people. When I lay hands, we lay hands on the sick or anoint someone with oil, God brings healing. When we put his word on the doorpost of our house, we're blessed going in, we're blessed coming out. When we come under the tallit and we shut the door, God says, when I see you in the secret place, I will reward you openly. When we plant that first fruit, when we, and then combine that with blessing Israel, folks, open windows of heaven. I'm with, uh, at the end of this program, I'm with, Tiz is praying right now in her room. I just talked to her. We're gonna pray for you and let our faith cover you and your faith and watch God bring the supernatural power. When you bless Israel, when you bring the first fruit, God will bless you, open windows of heaven, pour out such a blessing that is beyond imagination and he stands in front of us and defeats the enemy. Man, this is a time for miracles. And whenever you see a miracle in someone else's life, ancient Jewish wisdom says, you're, I'm, you're next. I'm so excited because I can't wait to rebuke the devourer and release the power of God in your life. I better go, I'll be right back. We are now in one of the most prophetic seasons of blessing the Lord has placed on His divine calendar. It's the appointed time for the Feast of Tabernacles and our final first fruits offering of the year. This is when God promises to open the windows of heaven over your life, both spiritually and financially. This special offering will not only position you for a miracle harvest, it will also bless Israel in a very important way through Project Aliyah. Your offering today will do more than bring great blessing into your own life. It will bring a great blessing to Jewish people in Ethiopia and Ukraine who are desperate to escape extreme danger and come home to Israel. In return for your first fruits offering of any size, we will send you Pastor Larry's instructive teaching series entitled Deeper Truths of Your Jewish Roots. 
If you've been looking to gain a greater understanding of your ancient biblical heritage, this in-depth study will show you the rich inheritance God has for you and promises you likely never knew about. As you sow a Sukkot offering of $135 or more, we will include this beautiful Shema pendant and chain. This unique necklace displays the Hebrew letters proclaiming the most powerful prayer from the Old Testament. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. It displays both your commitment to Israel and your love for the Lord with all your heart and soul. With your first fruits offering of $500 or more, you will also receive two of these elegant Shema mezuzahs. Each bear the words, Hear, O Israel, in both English and Hebrew, and the Hebrew scroll is safely secured inside. The mezuzah is a true biblical weapon of your warfare and declares to all that the guardian of Israel guards your home. When you support Project Aliyah with a generous offering of $1,000 or more, we'll send you all the resources mentioned, as well as this gorgeous Shema artwork that beautifully matches your mezuzahs. This is an incredible statement of your faith in the one true God and an amazing symbol of your love for Israel. This is an exclusive work of art for friends and partners of our ministry, and it will surely become a treasured biblical keepsake along with your mezuzahs. Take a moment right now and contact our ministry to pledge your support. Simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and speak with one of our friendly operators. You can also visit our secure website at larryhuck.tv where you can donate and select your thank you gifts there. If you prefer, you can mail your offering to the address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us today at 800-978-8546. Whether large or small, your offering today will go toward one of the greatest charitable projects you could ever take part in. In addition, it's the final first fruits offering of the year when the Lord promises to open the windows of heaven. Remember though, we're in God's 30-day grace period, which ends soon. So please, let us hear from you before this window of blessing passes by. Together we are saving lives, fulfilling prophecy, and preparing the world for the coming of the Messiah. Now, let's rejoin Pastor Larry. You know, I, I know our announcers so well told you all this, but on all of this is what's called the Shema. And the Shema is the number one prayer in Judaism. Shema Israel, Adonai Lohenu, Adonai Chad. And you may wonder, say, why do you, Pastor, why does God tell his children to do that? Because what you're doing is you're reminding yourself that God is God. And nothing that God, and he's above any, any other false God, and nothing that God tells us to do is a ritual. Everything that God tells us to do is a revelation because there is something supernatural, the power of God that is ready to follow that. You know, I, I've got all kinds of teachings, you know, that I could give you on this. And, and, and we believe next week God will uh, bring Tiz back with us and we're going to talk about prosperity. We're going to talk about all the things that happen on this first fruit offering. But receive this, the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot. This offering right now is the offering for a new beginning in your lives. I'm declaring this, that when the doctor called me or talked to me after Tiz's operation, he said, I went, looked everywhere. They, they said this, the, the enemy's gonna come in aggressive. He went a centimeter and a half. Think about that. That's all that's there after three and a half years. This is tremendously positive. And he comes back and he said, we got it. We, we got it. It's done. Here, I believe this is a prophetic word. When Tiz was, was getting ready to, when we're waiting and we're waiting for tests and we're waiting to have blood, double breast cancer and all these things, you got to learn to cast down imaginations. But you also got to learn to realize that God will be no man's debtor. In Hebrew, it's called zehut. It's merit. Calling in your merit. 
God, we have been involved. When you sow your first, it, the first fruits offering will open the windows of heaven. The first fruit offering will pull you out of blessing. The first fruit offering will cause God to rebuke the devourer. But this first fruit offering also is saving lives. And we, you know, we've been cancer free for three years and all of a sudden we needed, you, you know, we needed God again and he did it because he will always be the God of his word. You know, we, we normally set aside about a million, a million dollars just for Aliyah to reach and we had pledged that for Ethiopian Jews because this is Bible prophecy that Gentiles will bring them from Cush. This is Bible prophecy. That's why you're watching to be a part of Bible prophecy. But then you know Russia attacked Ukraine and so we, we, Tiz and I saw this on Saturday night and she was just telling the church last Sunday, she said, we were up to three. Usually we go to bed early on Saturday because we have to come and minister. But at three o'clock in the morning, we were, we said, we got to do something. We called Israel, uh, the Israel government said, we're going to get finances in there. And you stepped up and literally before the government could respond, you stepped up and literally saved thousands and thousands of lives. And now we're gonna do this with Ethiopia. Little did we know that God would stand up and save Tiz's life. Little did we know. I believe this in all my heart, Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good. Why, does, why did our family have to go through this? Why do we have to go through this? Because not only can we say, when you bless Israel, God will bless you. But I really feel, you know, we're gonna do this in our church every Sunday. We're praying for miracles at the end of the service because I really feel like God wants me and Tiz and I to cover you with faith. We've seen the power of God and I'm telling you the best is yet to come. I'm gonna pray over you, save a life, do it right now. Bring your first fruit, open windows of heaven, rebuke the devourer, pour out a blessing but I want you to receive a miracle right, even before the checks in the mail. I want you to receive a miracle right now. Father, I cover them. I bind the devil. You said whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. I rebuke the, de the devil. Father, I know you can do things. We've seen you do things that no one has ever heard of before. And that is the season we're in. Father, you have your children watching right now. Gentile, Jew, whoever to receive a miracle. I release the power of God on you, on your family, on your children, on your health right now. I, I see tumors shrinking. I see children lifting their hands and worshiping God. I see homes coming together. I see God opening financial windows into your life. And Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Remember, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. God has you watching right now and hearing the testimony of Tiz again because he's no respecter of persons. A miracle is on its way to you. We are now in one of the most prophetic seasons of blessing the Lord has placed on His divine calendar. It's the appointed time for the Feast of Tabernacles and our final first fruits offering of the year. This is when God promises to open the windows of heaven over your life, both spiritually and financially. This special offering will not only position you for a miracle harvest, it will also bless Israel in a very important way through Project Aliyah. Your offering today will do more than bring great blessing into your own life. It will bring a great blessing to Jewish people in Ethiopia and Ukraine who are desperate to escape extreme danger and come home to Israel. In return for your first fruits offering of any size, we will send you Pastor Larry's instructive teaching series entitled Deeper Truths of Your Jewish Roots. If you've been looking to gain a greater understanding of your ancient biblical heritage, this in-depth study will show you the rich inheritance God has for you and promises you likely never knew about. 
As you sow a Sukkot offering of $135 or more, we will include this beautiful Shema pendant and chain. This unique necklace displays the Hebrew letters proclaiming the most powerful prayer from the Old Testament. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. It displays both your commitment to Israel and your love for the Lord with all your heart and soul. With your first fruits offering of $500 or more, you will also receive two of these elegant Shema mezuzahs. Each bear the words, Hero Israel, in both English and Hebrew, and the Hebrew scroll is safely secured inside. The mezuzah is a true biblical weapon of your warfare and declares to all that the guardian of Israel guards your home. When you support Project Aliyah with a generous offering of $1,000 or more, we'll send you all the resources mentioned, as well as this gorgeous Shema artwork that beautifully matches your mezuzahs. This is an incredible statement of your faith in the one true God and an amazing symbol of your love for Israel. This is an exclusive work of art for friends and partners of our ministry, and it will surely become a treasured biblical keepsake along with your mezuzahs. Take a moment right now and contact our ministry to pledge your support. Simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and speak with one of our friendly operators. You can also visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv, where you can donate and select your thank you gifts there. If you prefer, you can mail your offering to the address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us today at 800-978-8546. Whether large or small, your offering today will go toward one of the greatest charitable projects you could ever take part in. In addition, it's the final first fruits offering of the year when the Lord promises to open the windows of heaven. Remember though, we're in God's 30-day grace period, which ends soon. So please, let us hear from you before this window of blessing passes by. Together we are saving lives, fulfilling prophecy, and preparing the world for the coming of the Messiah. For over 25 years, Pastors Larry and Tiz have led us on an incredible journey of standing with Israel. It's featured many prominent achievements and partnerships. Through the generous support from Christians around the world, we've been able to contribute well over $6 million in charitable funding just over the past five years to bless Israel and save Jewish lives. In 2022 alone, we've donated nearly $1.5 million to support Project Aliyah, especially from Ukraine and Ethiopia. Working with our good friends at Corinne Hayasod, we've partnered together to bring home nearly 40,000 Olim. We also sponsor a much needed food distribution to thousands of Holocaust survivors through the nationwide Amagor project and with Yad Ezer Lechaver in Haifa. We continue to fund the renovation of outdated bomb shelters and sponsor vital care for children at risk through Israel's Fund for Victims of Terror. Through our partnership with Magan Davida Dome, we've purchased nine mobile ICU ambulances which are literally hospitals on wheels and will make 10,000 life-saving calls in their lifetime. We also are installing special defibrillator kiosks throughout Israel. Our partnership with the Israel Allies Foundation is creating a global network of legislators who support pro-Israel policies and fight anti-Semitism in America and in over 50 parliaments around the world. This year, Pastor Larry also became the first ever recipient of the John Henry Patterson Guardian of Zion Award, which was awarded by Corinne Hayasod for his steadfast support and generosity to Israel and the Jewish people. Our sincerest thanks to all of you who have faithfully stood with us as we stand with Israel, as we tear down the walls of division between Christians and Jews, and as we fulfill Bible prophecy.